okay so let's discuss lung volumes and capacities which is probably the most important topics from respiratory physiology um, so the first thing we need to understand what is a normal amount of air that we inspire and expire so that's what we call as a tidal volume okay so it's about 500 milliliters of air that we normally inspire or expire in the breath so that's tidal volume okay so that's represented as tidal volume i'll just write it here so this is tidal volume all right so that's normal amount of air that's about 500 mils okay now the body has the capacity much higher than that okay so if someone asks you oh okay can you inspire a bit more yes you can all right so the normal amount of air that you can inspire that you can take in breathe in more above and beyond this tidal volume is called the inspiratory reserve volume so inspiratory reserve volume okay so the name is self suggestive okay so inspiratory reserve volume okay so that's your reserve which you can inspire okay so this one so this is irv okay and this is approximately about 3300 mils okay so normally we can um, you know our tidal volume is about 500 mils so we can inspire about 500 mils of air but we have the capacity to inspire 3300 mils more than this okay now similar to the ability to inspire more than normal we have the ability to expire or breathe out or take out air out of our lungs okay so similarly similar to inspiratory reserve volume we have a volume which can expire a bit more okay so that's called the expiratory reserve volume okay so this amount of air this amount of air which we can expire more then the normal is called the expiratory reserve volume okay so expiratory is breathe out expiratory reserve volume okay and so erv and this is again about 1100 to 1200 mils okay so expiratory reserve volume on an average is about 1000 to 1200 so we'll just do 1.1 liters okay now but you can see that there's still some air left in the lungs even after expiring all the air so this is what is called as the residual volume okay so residual volume is the amount of air that's still left in the lungs despite maximum expiration so you can try your best to breathe out air but you can still have uh, you will always have some air left in the lungs so that's called the residual volume and that's 1.2 liters okay so these are the main things you need to know okay so i'll just label this as well so tidal volume 500 mils which is a normal amount of air which you can breathe in or out 500 mils at a time but you have the capacity to inspire more and that's inspiratory reserve volume that's 3300 milliliters okay um, then similar to that you can expire or breathe out more which is called the expiratory reserve volume it's about 1.1 liters and even after that you have some volume of air always left in the lungs which is called as the residual volume residual volume okay now these are all the volumes we need to know okay so what are the capacities so capacities are basically um, the capacity of an individual so we have a inspiratory capacity okay so inspiratory capacity so which is basically the total amount of where we can inspire okay so if you haven't figured out so far it is basically the sum of inspiratory reserve volume plus your tidal volume okay so 
that much air okay so inspiratory capacity okay so the total amount of air that we can inspire so it's about 3.8 liter in men and about 2.4 liter in women so that's inspiratory capacity okay so the next one is the based upon the expiratory volume so that's called the functional residual the functional residual capacity okay so this is a little bit different name but it basically has the same ideology as inspiratory capacity so it's a sum of expiratory reserve volume the amount of air which can expire take out from the lungs more than normal and the residual volume so that's the functional residual capacity okay so frc or functional residual capacity is about 2.4 in men and about 1.8 in women okay so that's a functional residual capacity okay now if we add the inspiratory so what about white the next thing we need to know about is a vital capacity okay so what is a vital capacity so vital capacity is the maximum amount of air we can breathe out after taking in the maximum amount of air so this is the sum of inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume okay so you have inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume is your vital capacity and the vital capacity is about 4.8 liter in men and is about 3.1 liter in women okay so vital capacity okay now if we add the residual volume as well then we get the total lung volume okay so total lung volume or total lung capacity okay which is basically the sum of all four all right so inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume that's a total lung capacity okay um that's all you need to know so total lung capacity okay it's basically the sum of everything all right so how much is it and as you can see here the total lung capacity is six liters for men and about 4.2 liters for women okay that's all you need to know so tidal volume inspiratory and expiratory reserve volume residual volumes and then inspiratory capacity function residual capacity vital capacity and total lung capacity